wanted to show you a pretty odd technique for spot weldering on cells. Uh, I got a couple of these batteries and they're really weird looking. You can see the nickel strips here are custom made for these holders. But they're not spot welded directly on the cells but they have these, these kind of top hats. First they remove a part of the shrink code. This is actually a part where you have the date code, so I don't know how old these cells are. And then they just add these uh, kind of springs. And they also had another weird thing. And let's see, it's those wires. They are just stuck in here together. They're a little bit solder on them. They're just pushed down. So there is a big chance of a poor connection. Nothing is actually spot welded onto the cells. You could actually do this without spot welding. You can actually solder the top plates because they are then soldered onto these holders, which are separated from the cells by a few millimeters. The spring holders. And then you have these plastic things you cram down on them. You can see the holders, slots for the springs. And just push them down and then you have to hope that the battery pack doesn't shake loose or anything so not an optimal way of doing a battery pack but this is actually something you can do without a spot welder if you have access, access to these kind of holders pretty odd but however the problem with these batteries is that the BMS they rarely burnt up however most of the cells were and undamaged Panasonic B cells so there's still like 90% capacity and I have maybe thousand of these cells so I'm gonna figure out what to do with all these here on the top part however on the top part of the cells they are actually uh, welding directly onto the to the button of the top you could solder this part too but there isn't that much room to solder on so this probably isn't a good thing for if you don't want to spot well, but it's an option. The date codes are actually stamped directly on the cells rather than uh, on the heat shrink. So this indicates that these cells might be done this way by Panasonic for these holders. Here you can see a PF cell. And it has a QR code or something under the heat shrink tubing. There you see it again. But there is no indicator that the date stamp is also on the actual. Actually, you can easily see it's been cut here. They haven't ordered like extra short heat shrink. They actually been cut, and they're probably being cut when on the machine. But a problem with this battery pack is I don't know if you can see it. There are different date code. Here you can see it starts with a six one. But here you have another cell. And it starts with a 5 in sorrow. So they are not using cells with the same date code in the same battery. That's kind of a... Yeah, that, that's just amazing. Like this big company makes thousands of batteries every week probably. And they have cells with different date stamps in the same battery pack. Of course this might happen. But that I stumble upon them like this is 